Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsot, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. The law of the Lord is perfect. It revives the soul. The decrees of the Lord are steadfast. They give wisdom to the simple. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we come in this Eucharistic celebration asking the Lord to come into our hearts so that we could live our Lenten journey this Lenten season with our Lord. To prepare ourselves for this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask Him for pardon and mercy. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Turn our hearts to you, eternal Father, and grant that seeking always the one thing necessary and carrying out works of charity, we may be dedicated to your worship through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god 
forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people saying, This is the Lord your God. Commands you to observe these statutes and decrees. Be careful them. To observe them with all your heart and with all your soul. Today, you are making this agreement with the Lord. He is to be your God and you are to walk in his ways and observe his statutes, commandments, and decrees and to the heart hearken to his voice and today the Lord is making this agreement with you you are to be a people peculiarly his own as he promised you and provided you keep all his commandments he will then raise you high in praise and renown and glory above all other nations he has made and you will be a people sacred to the Lord, your God, as he promised. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. You have commanded that your precepts be diligently kept. Oh, that I might be firm in the ways of keeping your statutes. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. I will give you thanks with an upright heart. When I have learned your just ordinances, I will keep your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good, and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers and sisters only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. I have been uh, observing our gospel reading this week. And I noticed, pahirap po yata ng pahirap ang challenge ng Panginoon. 
ngayong linggo na ito. No? Earlier this week, we have heard of the reading about praying. Praying not only with your mouth, but praying with your heart. The next day is still about prayer, knocking on the door of God, seeking Him. Sabi ko medyo madali pa ito. The following day, the gospel is about conversion, about the sign of Jonah. When you see the sign of Jonah, like the Ninevites, we must convert and change our hearts. Yesterday, the gospel reading is about reconciling with your brother, reconciling with someone whom uh, you have something against. But today is, I think, the heaviest challenge of the Lord. It is to love your enemy. Sabi ko, bakit ba Lord, pabigat ko ng pabigat ang mga challenges mo this week. No? And today, the challenge of the Lord is to love your enemy. I think, my dear brothers and sisters, as we have said, this Lenten season is a journey of 40 days. And in this journey, our Lord Jesus Christ wants also to go deeper into your heart this season. Every day of Lent is a journey not only of ourselves, but a journey of Jesus deeper into our hearts. Ito pong panahon ng kwaresma, apat na pong araw, ay isang paglalakbay. Hindi lamang po paglalakbay natin, kundi paglalakbay ni Jesus. Papasok sa ating mga puso at ang gusto ni Jesus, makapasok siya sa ating mga puso ng palalim ng palalim, deeper into our hearts. Jesus wants to journey there. That is, I think, the Lenten season. That is why in our gospel passages, you will see that Jesus wants to go deeper into our hearts. He wants us first to pray with our hearts, to be converted, to be reconciled with one another, and now a deeper, ever deeper challenge to love your enemy. Abangan na lang po natin ano pa ang mga challenges ng Panginoon sa mga susunod na araw ng Kwaresma. But I think this is what Jesus wants us to have this Lenten season. To have Jesus deeper into our hearts so deep that we can even forgive and love our enemy. Masasabi kaya po natin yan pagkatapos ng panahon ng kwaresma na ito na si Jesus ay pumasok na sa ating mga puso. That is why our first reading today from the book of Deuteronomy, Moses telling the people to observe all the commandments, the statutes and decrees of the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul. Kinakailangan ang ating pagsunod sa Panginoon ay nanggagaling sa puso, sa kaluluwa, at sa ating kalooban. We are just on the first week of Lent. And I hope and I pray that slowly we are allowing Jesus to enter ever more deeply into ourselves, into 
our hearts so that daily this Lenten season, we can have a deeper relationship with our Lord. So deep that we can even say that we could love even our enemies. Sa panahon po ngayon ng Kwaresma, siguro po ay masasabi natin na halimbawa tayo ay nakapag-ayuno na, nakapag-fasting at abstinence, nakapagdasal na ako ng uh, the way of the cross, ako ay nakapagbigay na ng tulong sa mga dukha, sa mga nangangailangan. But Jesus wants more. Jesus wants that as you begin this Lenten season, we will not remain on the surface level, but Jesus wants to go deeper into our hearts. That you can reconcile with your enemy, that you can forgive your enemy, that you can even love your enemy and pray for your enemy. Wish good for your enemy. That is what will happen if Jesus has already gone deeper into ourselves. So my dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this acceptable time of salvation, this Lenten season, 40 days of preparing for Holy Week, for Easter, let us allow this journey to go deeper into our hearts. Allow Jesus to go deeper into us and be reminded that this is a journey not only of ourselves, but a journey of Jesus into our lives. Amen. Please stand. With confidence, we now approach the all-forgiving Father whose mercy towards us is limitless and without bounds. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. that the Church and earth may be living example of forgiveness and compassion shown by Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may look with kindness even upon those who have hurt us, injured us, or caused us hardship in any way. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that with God's grace, we may be able to forgive our enemies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may show care and compassion for the sick, the old, and the neglected. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may be blessed and rewarded with eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty and compassionate Father, we thank you for the forgiveness you have offered through your Son. Help us to show your forgiveness to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May these blessed mysteries by which we are restored, O Lord, we pray, make us worthy of the gift they bestow through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feasts with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory 
of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth, earth as, as it is in, in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Show unceasing favor, O Lord, to those you refresh with this divine mystery and accompany with salutary consolations those you have imbued with heavenly teaching. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the blessing for which they have longed strengthen your faithful, O God, so that never straying from your will, they may always rejoice in your benefits. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Lord, we give our yes.